Hey everybody, I want to tell you a little story about something that happened to me recently and hopefully it will boost your confidence in the existence and the knowledge that God is real and when you ask for something your prayers are answered okay so let me tell you what happened so um, yeah a lot some, some of y'all might know that I recently um, was able to get an, a truck not a new truck but a used truck paid you know four thousand dollars for it and um, I had an opportunity to produce a fashion show in Florida which is four thousand miles away well four thousand miles round trip two thousand each way and I made it to Florida and I was uh, made it to my meeting and then I was on my way back and I was still about you know 1500 miles away from Texas and I'm at my hotel room and I woke up in the middle of the night and I didn't have a I didn't feel good I had an upset stomach and um, so I went downstairs about 3 in the morning and I went downstairs to smoke a joint and have a cup of coffee and hopefully make myself feel better well, while I was down there, I turned on the air conditioner because it's Florida, and I could hear a buzzing sound, an electronic buzzing sound, like a short sound, right? And somewhere along the line, my hatchback on my um, Sequoia got stuck between open and closed. I mean, it's fully closed. It's not fully closed. It's just slightly not closed. But anyway, so I'm sitting there at 3 in the morning in my truck listening to this electrical short going on in my car. And I'm starting to freak out because I'm thinking I got 1,500 miles that I still have to go. And I'm a single woman. And what am I going to do? There's nothing between Florida and Louisiana. Nothing. If you've ever driven that road, there's nothing between Florida and Louisiana. Anyway, so I'm freaking out. I go immediately into a huge anxiety attack. I go, even though I'm smoking weed because I get anxiety attacks. Um, I, put, I go upstairs and I'm like paralyzed with fear and I'm laying in the bed in the hotel room bed and I've got you know a Christian video playing in the background and I'm grabbing onto my dog clutching my dog like there's no tomorrow and I'm crying I'm in just full-fledged panic and tears and I can't get out of bed and I'm begging God please you gotta help me you gotta do something take away this fear take away this worry take away this concern replace it with peace replace it with calm replace it with confidence I was so afraid I really wondered if I was gonna be able to get out of this hotel room because I was so afraid of what would happen with the short right and of course I'm carrying pot because I'm traveling and just would have been a bad situation Anyway, so I'm laying there begging God to please, please take this fear away from me. And then while I'm laying there, I swear to you, I felt this like static electricity in my solar plexus. And I can't explain it other than it felt like, it felt like static electricity, a heavy charge of static electricity going out my legs and out my, down my legs and out my feet and down my arms and out my hands while I was laying there clutching onto my dog. I mean, it literally felt like it was an answer to prayer. It was a sensation I'll never forget, but it felt like static electricity leaving my arms and leaving my legs. It was bizarre. And then a couple minutes later, I took a deep breath and I exhaled. And then a couple minutes later, I loosened the grip on my dog and I rolled over on my back and I was okay. The fear, the debilitating fear was gone. There was calm in my heart. And I had the confidence to get out of bed. And I had the confidence to know what I, my next steps were. The angels in my heart and mind, I heard the angels say to me, have confidence, we're watching you. Don't leave the parking lot before 5.30 a.m., right? So I waited until 5.45 a.m. just to be sure, and I got on the freeway, and I found out about an hour down the road there was a several car um, pileup, and if I would have left earlier, I might have been in it. But anyway, I just wanted to tell you that if you're afraid, call on Jesus. Call on God, because I can't tell you, it's, it's like the magic of the non-physical. It's more than religion. It's more than philosophy. It's real. It's real energy and it's real salvation. I lift mine, what is it? I lift mine eyes to the hills from whence my, from whence my, somebody came. Anyway, lift your eyes up.
Just wanted to tell you that. So if you're having fear, you're having panic, you're worried about stuff, call on God. It's real.